The Stu Gray selling hurdle is next is a two mile two furlong nought to ninety handicap. So the lowest rated race of the week. There's only four in it. Classic approach Alex Cherry, executives pairing Jamie Hopkins, Racky Jones, Derek Hinton, and Monopole Fred for Jamie Hopkins. They're called in and away. Looks like this is a fifty percent chance of Jamie Hopkins picking up his first win of the season. Alex Cherry and Derek Hinton will have something to say about that. As they get to the second of the 11, it's probably an argument this is rated too low, really, after just one week. Not that many horses been rated below 90 by week two. It probably should be a 110, really. You can see the point. I've a 0 to 90, probably in about week four or three, even. But I think week two is just that little bit too soon. It's executives' parent who's in the lead. These three trainers will be telling me to be quiet, but you don't need to worry because there's only you three listening. Executives Perrin is in the lead. Well, Rakib Jones second, Classic Approach third, and Monopole Fred just on the inside is fourth. As they race down towards the fourth of the 11. And the order is pretty much the same as it was throughout. Executives pairing in the lead. Rakeem Jones in second. Derek Hinton. Classic approach third for Alex Cherry. And Monopole Fred is the back marker of the four in the same stable as the leader, Jamie Hopkins. As they race down towards the next. Executives pairing. if that's been named by the game or the Jamie Hopkins is original peering fan it's executives original peering you never know Monopole Fred is in second and classic approach and finally Rakib Jones well, absolutely no idea if Rakib Jones is anybody important or any or just a made up thing or made up name no idea, Derek Hinton will be the one that knows that. I mean, Derek, it could be absolutely anybody. Well, the best we don't know. Anyway, it's executives pairing in the lead. Over the seventh. Oh, classic approach in second, and then Monopole Fred. Rakib Jones coming around the outside. we a Casey Jones, we've never heard of Rakib Jones. Anyway, going into the fourth last. Executives pairing is in front. Got over that one nicely from Monopole Fred, Classic Approach and Rakeem Jones, virtually three of them in a line. Waiting to challenge this leader, I think. And he's sticking to his guns in front. Executives pairing by two. So Rakeem Jones and Classic Approach and then Monopole Fred on the inside. And still plenty close enough. Percent sure which one of these is going to win yet. Oh, in there with a chance, and executives pairing has just kicked on again up the hill with three to go. Caught the other three a little bit flat footed. And executives pairing now coming back to them though. He used up too much energy up that hill, and it's Rakeem Jones who jumps into the lead for Derek Hinton. Monopole Fred is chasing hard as they get over the second last. And it looks like it's between Rakeem Jones and Monopole Fred now. Rakeem Jones is too clear. Monopole Fred is trying to close. They've got just one more flight to take. Rakeem Jones in the pink. Monopole Fred in the purple. Over it they go. Rakeem Jones in the lead. Jockey has a look round. Monopole Fred is trying to get closer. They're inside the final half furlong. It's Rakeem Jones from Monopole Fred. And Rakeem Jones is going to hang on and take him. Monopole Fred is second. Classic approach is third. And executives pairing. A long time leader is fourth. So, Rakeem Jones, I might not know who he is, but he won that one by about a length. She is, it could be a woman, couldn't it? I know Rakeem is a, well, look, it's, a, it's a male horse anyway, so you never know with Derek. He called a filly after Stu once, I think. Anyway, Rakeem Jones is the winner for Derek Hinton. Monopole Fred was second for Jamie Hopkins. Classic approach third for Alex Cherry, and Jamie Hopkins was fourth again with executive pairing.